I had, uh, so I, I don't, don't know if you're the same, but there's a threshold to if something goes wrong. So like if something's working, like most of the things around the house, like even living on like a rural property, like <clears throat> I know how the tank works when it works. I know how the bore water works when it works. I know how the solar hot water system works when it works, right? Like when it works. Yeah. And I know the first step of sort of like turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Like, you know, that basic level of if the pump stops working, if you've got no water in the house. Okay. So the, here was the situation I was presented with this week. Yeah. No water in the house. So if there's right. no water in the house, my immediate first thing is, okay, it's probably a pump issue. The pump has like gone off in the middle of the night. That's why there's no water in the house. So that's the most likely explanation. The danger scenario is the tanks are empty. Now with all the rain that we've had in our part of the world in the last two years, if my fucking tanks are empty, I'm giving up. I'm burning the whole place down and I'm walking away. So I don't think the tanks are empty. I think it's just got to be a problem with getting the water pumped into the house. So yeah. immediate thing you first check in that situ situation is like, the um i just go downstairs and i check if like one of the what do you call it when a like a uh, see this is how bad i am at even this you know your fuse board has a fuse like switch trip right yeah. like yeah. yeah so yeah like you know something might have tripped in the night is there anything on the fuse no nope, everything's fine everything all is all the switches are pointing in the same direction correct which is like i would not be able to identify which is the right direction like I'm just looking for one that isn't in the same direction as the other ones. Well, I, I have like traditionally lived yeah. in a houses that have been so old that all the fuse boxes had the old school, like wire wrapped around it. So if a fuse oh, yeah. went, you'd have to pull out the fuses, see if there's like a, a burnt wire and then like rewire it. It wasn't until I moved into like a new house that I was like, Oh, they got, they got rid of those like 30 years ago. You don't even have to like rewire the fuse if it goes. And I must admit, mine's recently been updated. So I have a new fuse board in the house, which means that they're now even all labeled. So I could oh. literally look along and find Living the one that room. said pump yeah. and like make sure that even the pump one, they were all in the right position, but I still checked to see if the pump one was in the right position, despite the fact all the others were. So I, um, okay. So, well, that's not the problem. Yeah. Here's what could be a problem. The pump could just have died. Now, it's an old pump. Mm. Like these sort of pumps, they do, they're meant to have long lasting life. You know, you, you should be able to repair them and, you know, keep using them. But like it's an old pump and there's all, I've always been living with the possibility at some stage it might just stop working. But Which anyway. Which is considering we've talked a lot about you barricading yourself in your home in the event of some kind of apocalyptic mm -hmm. event, this is important. Like you need water. Like that's a, I don't know a lot about anatomy, Will, but I know no. that human bodies need water. Yes. Now, okay. So absolutely 100% you're right. There's two things that I need really for my entire self-sufficiency, which is that I, um, I need a battery for my solar system so I can just run the whole place myself. And I need a reliable pump, Charlie, or a spare pump a backup pump and I need to know how to replace that pump in case of pump emergency. So th this is out of my area of expertise. The only thing I know about the pump is it's kept in a, what I would say is like, I guess like a concrete, like, you know, it's made of like some sort of like concrete box. Housing? So the pumps, yeah, housing, right? So the pump is yeah. inside that, but the pump is so big, it takes up most of that housing. So the only way to see, to get into the reset button, like that you need to like, that's my kind of on and off. I need mm. to push this reset button. So on the side of this concrete housing, like you can take the lid off and go in that way, but you can't mm. see. You're basically yeah. just dangling your hand down and poking around. So there's like in the side of the concrete box, there's like a hole. And if you yeah. just stick your hand mm. into that hole, ET style, yeah. and just like finger around. Oh, I was thinking more like that scene in the original Flash Gordon movie. You know, there's that rock you stick your hand in and sometimes it gets bitten by some weird monster. <laughs> like so it's like, yeah. But in Flash Gordon, Triple X, that was a glory hole. <laughs> yeah, it's not your hand you sticking in there. That's why it was called Flash, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it was a real lottery, but it was worth it for the thrill. Flesh so, Gordon, I believe it was called. Yeah, so Flesh Gordon. So I have this um, <laughs> glory hole near my pump. This is all getting really weird. So my pump box has a glory hole yeah. and you need to finger through that glory hole to find the reset button. 
So I go down there, get down on my knees, and I um, finger through the glory hole, and I yeah. finger around, and I push the, I push the reset button, and you I get a button. I hit, button. <laughs> I hit the button. I hit the button. It takes me a while to find the button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, the I pump wish. says, "Sorry, that's my belly button." <laughs> lower, <laughs> lower. <laughs> so I finger around in the button hole for a while, and I find it. I push it, yeah. and this is what I get. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so, all of a sudden, every teenage experience in my life just comes rushing back. Just a dis- disappointed grunt. So the pump gives this disappointed grunt, essentially. Yeah. But that means that there's still power going to the pump. That's what I know. Yeah. Like the pump's okay. trying. It's just like whatever's happening is 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 not meant to be happening. So it's not a power problem. It's a pump problem. So yeah. In that situation, I do the only thing that I know how to do. I unplug the pump. I uh... get some compliments first. <laughs> that's that's your problem. If you went straight to finger in the button, you needed to give it some compliments first. To get it in the <laughs> so mood. foreplay. I was yeah. just. I thought because it was a pump, it was a real pump and dump situation. But it turns yeah, out mate, no. Come on. You know, <laughs> even a pump a needs some foreplay. Pump. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so um, unplug my pump, plug my pump back in, turn the pump back on, put my finger again once more through the the uh, glory hole and finger around for the button, P- push it again. <clears throat> okay, same problem. All right. How long at this point would you do other things before you call the plumber? Like, because oh, I want to know how many more steps you would have at this point. I'm stubborn. Um, so I would, I would assume that it's like a failing of mine. I'm, so the Catholic mm-hmm. guilt would rush in and it's like, this is somehow my fault. Uh, it's my failing. Mm-hmm. If I was a better husband and father, I'd be able to fix this. So once I've gone through all that emotional trauma and then spoken to my, my therapist about it, uh, <laughs> I would then, I would, no, I would attempt to, if there's some kind of casing, can you see the pump at all? Like, is there a way that, can you, like, can you uh, unscrew, like, um, a panel or get into where You can take the top the off, is, you can take the, the top off the, the concrete housing, like, it's quite mm. heavy, but you can take it off and you can remove it. But no, really, I would wanna, to then I would be able see, to fiddle with the pump in any way, yeah. you'd need to remove the entire pump from this casing, which I'm not a hundred percent sure whether I'd be, ca- it's like a heavy pump and yeah, it's kind yeah, of, there's yeah. no lot of room or like leverage to be able to. And you don't know what you're disconnecting and you know, no, what that's going to Can't do. see anything yeah. down there. It's darkness. Okay, no, that's it. So I think what you've done is mm. about the level that I'd be willing to go to before I call the professional. Yeah. I, I My thing is I've got to rule out all the things that they could just walk in and go, duh, it's this yeah. switch. Like, yeah, go over into the PowerPoint, <laughs> right. switch it on. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've got to rule out. I've just got to rule out yeah. any possibility. Humiliation level. Of someone like just <laughs> need to eliminate any any uh, possibility of humiliation. Like that's what you just don't want to look like an absolute moron. That's what right. you got. That's your base level. So um, uh, I call the plumber. Yeah, of course we're in the country. So, you know, you then just get this. Six I, months later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, this is the thing. There's someone in your area today. They can drop over today. We're just not sure why. So now you're just at home kind of like waiting on, you know, this situation to resolve itself. So, um, uh, we're not come. sure when or we're not sure why. You said they can drop over. They're just not sure why. Did oh. you mean when? Well, I mean both, I guess, <laughs> technically, but I meant yeah, when. Like the plumber turns up with an existential crisis. Like, I'm here, but, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't yeah. know why. I, I mean, plumb, what is the therefore I am. I mean, literally, <laughs> what am I doing? People are shitting this stuff out and then I'm removing the shit. Who am I? What am I? What is a man? <laughs> I've plumbed the depths of my own soul <laughs> right. in search of answers. Yeah, you know what? I need to clean out the shit that's inside my heart, not the <laughs> shit that's inside your toilet, mate. Oh, God, I called the philosophical plumbers again. <laughs> Damn it. So uh, you, actually what happened was I was doing some um, laundry this morning and I put some stuff in the dryer because uh, the line is full and um, it's now putting off some warning system. So in the back, I've got one of those of the beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 going over and over and over. And I was thinking, can I get through this anecdote before I ask Charlie to pause so I can actually turn that <laughs> off? So, 
um, the plumber comes around much earlier than expected. That's, a, that's, that's rare. Like I was thinking late afternoon, we're talking just after lunch. So suddenly, you know, plumber's here. I run him through what I've done because I really want to make a bit of a show of, man, I've, I've done stuff. I didn't, the pump didn't just stop working and I've immediately called a plumber. I'm, I'm on the land. I can do things, right? So uh, he's a bit suspect on the fact that I've done these things. So he wants to check anyway. So he goes and checks all the things that I've already checked. And I felt a little undermined by that, but I was like, okay, fair enough. And then uh, he goes in and he, and he, he puts his finger in the, in the concrete glory hole and he fingers around, yeah. touches the button. It just starts gushing immediately. And you're like, God damn it. Spurting water oh, everywhere. I've been <laughs> cucked by this philosophical plumber. He's like, you watch me make your pump <laughs> squirt everywhere. And I'm like, you know, squirting's just we. Like, and he's like, I know, I'm a plumber. I know more than anybody. I think, therefore, we am. What? Yeah, I'm philosophical. <laughs> so he puts his finger in the glory hole. Yeah. <clears throat> same, same. So Great. he good. At this point, a normal person would be like, "Oh, damn, there's something wrong with my pump." But really, honestly, I'm feeling pleased that at the point that I've got to, he's also done that and arrived at the same point. That makes me feel better, right? Like I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, cool, 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 cool. So then he's like, well, I'm going to have to take off the lid and have a you know look around and see what I can find. He said, "Yeah, no, you, you know what he did." He, he he touched it again and it went, uh, and he said, and I did like this, he goes, hmm, sounds like a fan issue. Ooh. I was like, you can tell that just from that, that little. Uh. So anyway, he goes in the back, he undoes the fan, which is, is accessible because it's kind of on the edge of the pump, undoes it, looks at me and says, I have never seen this before. Ah, oh, good. So. What did my plumber discover in the fan of my house pump that stopped water to my house? I mean, it's something that a plumber has never seen before. Because mm. my immediate thought is, oh, there was some animal in there. But it I'm was, it was an animal. And I was, uh, to be honest, I was a bit surprised he had never seen it before. Like, yeah, I was just going to say, like, even yeah. I've found like a, a, a frog in one of my pumps here. So yeah. that, that, that doesn't seem to surprise me. Um, so but was it something what about- type of animal was it? Again, I, I was surprised that he was surprised. I will say that. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't like, a, a, it's a kangaroo. Like, yeah. it was something that I would have been like, oh, yeah, that, we live in the country. Yeah. That, that animal is around here. I, I would have say, it's, yeah. a, it's a snake. It's a snake. There's a snake in there. Yes. Yeah. So there was a snake. It's completely unsurprising. Is this your plumber's first day? I mean. No wonder he turned up going, why am I here? I'm not even a plumber. That's why it was such a surprise. I guess. Maybe they don't crawl. Maybe they're smart enough to not crawl into fans, snakes. Like, I mean, maybe that's the the issue. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, there was a oh, snake. Oh man, there is there, there is a reality series. I believe it's on binge or or something. It's Australian snake hunters or snake mm. catchers or something. Have you seen it? No, don't. Because <laughs> it like well, I'd never had a snake phobia, but so they just go around catching snakes, and the the places they find snakes will make you think that your house is just full of them. Like they're lifting up fridges and mm. the, the snakes love getting inside like washing machines and, and dryers and where there's like warm, where they can keep warm at night. And it's just gross. Like they, and I don't hate snakes. I, I quite like snakes, but just the way they curl around things and they're tugging them out of pipes and stuff. It's just, it's just, it's just gross. So the, considering where you live, I would have assumed that that would be the first thing. Like, if I was a plumber and I was going to encounter any animal, a snake would be the first. Got to get these motherfucking snakes out of this motherfucking fan. Like that, I imagine <laughs> exactly. it's like a daily occurrence. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. W- when they were redoing the roof here, yeah. Like they found heaps of like snake skins in the roof. Yeah. Like there's snakes uh, everywhere. here. Like, I mean, I see yeah. snakes around as well, but I was, yeah, I was surprised that he was surprised, I guess, like is actually... Mm-hmm. Because I, w- I was a bit the same. I was like, yeah, well, the snake's in fucking everything, mate. You should watch this series on the Nature Show. <laughs> <laughs> was it alive or dead? Oh, no, it was not alive. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, goodness. What <clears throat> had happened to it? Um, it crawled into where a fan <laughs> was operating. So it got chopped up? Did well, it get I mean, it up? just got, I don't know. It didn't look chopped up. It looked just dead, but. 
I mean, I had a similar thing happen with one of my sprinkler systems where it's like a, a large kind of mm. square sprinkler. I couldn't, it just stopped working and I was, and I, I could see water going in and, and then I unplugged everything. And as I took out, like, you know, one of the connections, I see this little frog's foot come out, just like a frog leg. And I'm like, oh God. And so then I had to get a stick and just like, just this, this, just bits of frog, just scrape it out of my sprinkler. And I was like, oh man. Why did you do it, Frog? I know there's water in there, but don't go in there. <laughs> to see the full video, join our Patreon. Patreon.com slash TOEFOP.